Hey guys, in this video, I wanna share with you how you're able to quickly make a V-carve sign. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've seen some posts recently on some CNC forums on Facebook that they're just having some issues with the depth of carve and, and things like that. And it's very quite simple. With a V-carve, you actually have to set the, the, the depth of cut to the stock of your material. And so without going into the details, because there are videos already out there that, are, that kind of explain in detail how a V-carve works, I just want to show you the settings that I use. I want to show you how quickly you can fix the issues that you're having by just setting your V-carve depth to your stock bottom or the thickness of your material. So let's go ahead and see it in real time. All right guys, so now that I'm in Carbide Create, I need to create the sign or the, the dimensions of my sign. So in this case, it's 26 point, ooh, what's going on there? 0.4375 and my Y is 5.5625. It is three quarter, 0.75 thickness, do that. And just to do a simple V carve, I like to do mine in Times New Roman. And then let's go ahead and just do hello. done let's move select it let's move it over here <clears throat> let's make it bigger all right so now we got it where we want it let's go ahead and select the text let's go to toolpath let's get rid of this one because it's from an old carve we want to v carve this we're going to edit the the tool we're going to select 60 degree V bit and I like to go 80 70 the step over and depth per pass I just leave it alone 80 70 for plunge and rate rpm is 18,000 okay I'm going to select U stock bottom and changes it to 0.75 and you can call, uh, call it whatever you like so let's go ahead and save this Just call it hello. And let's go ahead and uh, bring it over to the machine. All right, guys, so go ahead and initialize your machine with the V-bit that you want. In this case, in this case, it's going to be the 60 degree V-bit. Let's go ahead and get that in there. In the meantime, while I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the file in Carbide Motion, and it's ready to go. Okay, that's where I want my X and Y. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the Z axis. I like the paper method. Bring it down. And I'm I'm going to I'm going to lower my Z bit here uh, by 0 0.01 inches. So let's go ahead and do that until I start feeling resistance. Okay, so there it's pretty much set. Now what I like to do a tip that I learned was to change it to 0 0.001 inch increments and go ahead and raise it uh, three to five steps so let's go ahead and just do five one two three four five and then we'll set the z there all right so now that we have it set we'll raise it and then we'll run it All right guys, so that's it, that's, it's that simple. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are able to take something away from it. If you did, go ahead and make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.